In this lecture, we'll look at objects. And objects are very important. So when you come to the main toolbar, you see there are so many different objects to play around with and we'll be looking at some of them. So the first one we want to look at is arrows. So when you come to your main toolbar, you see arrows and you can tear it down and you have the arrow toolbar. So with the arrow toolbar, you can have so many different arrows that you can do. And you can use arrows to show the conversion of reactants to product and to indicate electron flow. You can customize arrows not only for length and angle, but for arrowhead width and shape. You can also drag an arrow from its middle to create an arc of any length. You can create an arc and the, ang and the angle of the arrow is modified. So let's begin by just drawing an arrow head or just draw an arrow. So the first thing is that there are three different types of arrow heads in cam draw. The first one is solid, which we have, but you can always right click and you see a hollow arrow head. You can right click again and then you see an angled arrow head. Okay, and you can always adjust how the width looks like so you can play around with this as well. And that is that is all you need to do. Okay. The next one is also the arrow types. So in ChemDraw offers a variety of arc types and arrow types, such as cross arrows. So let's let's come again to our palette and there we go so there are so many arrow types that you can you can look at you have your solid you have hollow you have all these different types that you can play around with so for you to draw an arc you can also just select any of them and draw it and once you have it in you can always right click and also change many of the things that you can do with it so you can maybe this is plain you can change it to dashed you can change it to bold you can full arrow at end so you can almost customize it to whatever that you need it to be so this is no go cross you can also go to this and also come to even object settings and change how it looks like and the colors and everything so it's a full detail of what you can do with your arrows and arrows are very important in chemistry and also in in biology so very important so you can always draw and just right click and change the properties from the side as well and when you have so as I'm, as I'm showing when you have a straight or a solid one you can always come in and just drag it to make it act you know so that can also be done uh, yeah and you can change the length as well so as I shown you can as I showed you can always change the colors, annotate and play with some of these things. So arrows are very important. You see so many different types of arrows that you can use. Uh yeah. Okay. So the next one is also drawing elements. And when you come over to the main toolbar, you see drawing element now from your drawing element you can see so many different things that you can draw like a circle with shadow dash circle so the same way that we did for arrows you can just come in and let's say draw a circle and from the circle you can right click and you can change it to dashed right click bold right click faded and you can change everything that you need also come to object settings and you can go ahead and change how the objects 
or come out to be so that is something cool to always note um, draw this arc you can draw this so it gives you options to draw objects because sometimes let me just pull up one thing so when you come to let's say one of the samples let's see let's see one of them so let's go for creatine okay so you see you'll be able to add arrows as you need and object as you need okay and there are more complicated ones that you can also add so you can come in and let's see even with cell structure okay so for cell structure it's just the usual arrows to point so let's try some more open some poles and go ahead to okay yeah so it's it's basically like that you can use all these shapes and add text to it so it makes it more interesting so you have if you have this shape as they have and then you can add text to it you can change uh, how it looks like and edit it to your whole document so that is very useful you can always resize you can always resize as as usual and play around with it as well so when you come along you can make this a curve you can resize it and play around it as well next one will be bracket so when you come to your main toolbar as well you see bracket and it's pretty much the same you can just choose your bracket hold and drag it along to whichever size that you need and enter label so if it's for instance a polymer and you have a chain you can write in or whatever that you need in there you can also draw so this is a, a bracket you can also draw parenthesis as well and add label you can come to braces so usual stuff and these are daggers and all so note that you also have the ability to draw brackets here as well so in the next lecture we'll continue with objects so see you